everybody, this is Kimberly, and today I want to talk about antiperspirant and deodorant, the difference between the two, and the harmful effects that it could possibly have. Um, I also have some natural products that I want to show you that you can use in place of your um, deodorant and or antiperspirant. But first I want to talk about sweat. We have two different kinds of sweat glands. The ecrine sweat glands, which are active at birth, um, they, these are located on the palms of our hands, the soles of our feet, and on our forehead. And the ecrine sweat glands are the ones that make up the most of the majority of the sweat glands. The sweat produced by the ecrine sweat glands um, contains no proteins or fatty acids. The sweat glands, called the apocrine sweat glands, are usually active beginning um, puberty, about the puberty years, and the sweat that is produced by these glands does contain proteins and um, fatty acids. And the apocrine glands are located underneath your arms and in your genital area. Actually, sweat itself doesn't smell. What smells is when we sweat from underneath our arms, our body contains, there's millions and millions of bacteria that live on our body. And when that bacteria comes into contact with the apocrine sweat that contains the proteins and the fatty acids, it metabolizes and causes that unpleasant, that unpleasant odor that we associate with sweat. So typically right around the teenage years is when we start to use antiperspirant and or deodorant on a daily basis. Um, antiperspirant works by clogging the apocrine glands and how it clogs it is it's clogged with toxic chemicals and substances such as aluminum. And aluminum is associated with all kinds of cancers, specifically breast cancer. Deodorant works by neutralizing the bacteria so that it either neutralizing or killing the bacteria so that the odor is unable to produce. So when I, I want to show you guys the two products that I find are extremely safe and they're a better alternative to antiperspirants or deodorants and they are all natural. They don't contain any harmful um, chemicals such as aluminum and one of them is the salt crystal and it looks like this. My bottom's broken here, so. Um, it has the breast cancer sticker. It says here, no harmful aluminums. It's hypoallergenic, fragrance free, and it contains no parabens, which is a preservative that's also linked to um, being toxic. So I'm gonna open this up and this is basically salt and it's dry. So how you apply this is you, you put this underneath water to get it wet and then you apply it underneath your arms and then you let it dry and this stuff really does work. Um, the second type of all natural deodorant is this crystal and it's a roll on. I use this, it's liquid, so you open it up and you just roll it on. It has no scent whatsoever, so if you guys use perfume, it's not going to interfere with um, the way you smell. I always find it interesting when people use antiperspirant or deodorant that has a scent and then they put perfume on and then they're using scented um, shampoo and conditioner, so they have all this stuff, all these smells kind of going on and it's just like overpowering. So these two products, contain no fragrance, so it's not going to interfere with your perfume. It, they contain no harmful substances, so you have the peace of mind knowing that what you're putting underneath your arms every single day isn't going to cause any harmful effects. So that concludes my video on sweat and antiperspirants and deodorants. I hope you guys go out and try these natural alternatives and live a happy, healthy, long life. Hope you enjoyed my video. Have a beautiful day. Mwah. Bye.